Hello, Daniel here and welcome to another one of my uh, Windows 10 how-to videos. So in this video we're going to be showing you how to disable the Windows 10 login, password and lock screen. Now this is handy if you just want to boot your tablet or Windows PC up without a password. Um, obviously you need to think about the security of this. Um, this video is not designed to help you reset your password. So I will make another video about that. So how do you, how do you start? There's a couple of steps to it. So let's go to start settings uh, accounts now this video video is made in December 2019 so this may change a little bit they should keep it the same and it's sign in options and then the require sign in part never so if you've been away what should Windows do with to sign in again nothing don't do anything right close that part now the next part you need to do is you need to right click the start menu and go run. And then what you need to type next is something called NetPLWiz, so N-E-T-P-L-Wiz. And just press OK. And here it's here the important setting is users must enter a username and password to use this computer. So uncheck that checkbox, then go down to apply. Now it's going to ask me for my password, so let me type my password. So it's going to ask you twice to type this, just to make sure you are who you say you are. OK. OK. So then let's reboot now. Right, so obviously Windows 10 is restarting. Give it a few seconds. This is on a, an actual uh, machine, it's not a screen grab, so this is how yours will uh, behave. Okay, it's booting up. Once we've got the Windows 10 logo. I like to show people videos on how to do stuff on, an, on actual hardware, because it will be as, as, you, as you do it, so it should, work, de it should definitely work for you. Right. We're nearly booting up. This isn't the fastest uh, machine in the world. So normally you would have like a, a picture here, like a lock screen. You'd click it and you'd ask for your password, but obviously the changes that we've made, it's now just gonna sign straight through. So as I said earlier, just bear in mind the secure, security implications of this. This is handy if you've got a computer displaying something or you just haven't got anything really important, you can just have it signed straight in, or if someone's not that good with tech, they could just you can just have it signed in straight away for them. So there we go, video's done. Right, thanks very much for watching, I hope this helps, and if you've got, got any questions, feel free to comment and I'll try and help you out. See you later.